Okay, so Messi wins it. Messi wins it, and I understand people's views towards, especially from Liverpool fans and and, and so forth. But I think I've got to start first with this because there are many ways to start. But this is this is the best way to start. There is an argument for for both players. There's an argument for for, for both players. If Van Dijk had won it, hundred percent, he deserves it based on his contribution for his role to Liverpool. Same breath for Messi to win it, there's a great argument as well. Because we have to understand what is this award about. Not what people write and everything, what is this award about? This is about who was the best player. What were your contributions as an individual and how much value do you help to bring to your team? That's why I look at value. Because if you look at individual contributions, people just go straight to goals, assists, goals, assists, uh, the, the, the tackles, interceptions, no, no, those are contributions. No, goals, assists, those, those, are, those, those are contributions and stats. No, value. Because when we bring value, that is why Van Dyke and Messi are neck and neck. Because Van Dyke's value to the team was huge. Van Dyke is the reason why Matip raised his game. Even if I feel like Matip was better at critical moments, I still felt that, you know, Van, Van Dyke helped to feed um, his influence and his calmness and his presence helped to elevate Matip's game because anybody that knows about defending, if you've been a central de the defender, you feed off what your other central, what your other defender is doing. And especially when you're the two central defenders and you, let's say you're the least experienced defender or you're playing against a guy who is superior to you, you match up what that superior guy is doing and the superior defender is instructing the backline offside trap mark this man man to man zonal watching men let's go play this let's go play that you're constantly they're dictating things that so, so, so you feed off towards them but the, the thing here is this this is about who was the best individual for the given year and you and i i, I beg people i beg people to focus on that focus on which individual brought most va was most valuable to their team? Which individual did the did his role to the best of his ability? Key word we've got to um, focus on is the individual. The reason why I say we've got to focus on that is because, is because people aren't focusing on it. If you're not talking about oh, but he lost the Champions League to him, oh, but he didn't win that trophy, then no, that's not what it's about. That's a whole different argument about, oh, what trophies did you win? That's something totally different. We're talking about what did an individual do? And you see, from Van Dyke's point of view, as I, as I said again, you know, I felt that he transformed Liverpool's de de defence. And we have to be far more mature if we want to call ourselves football fans. I have no time for immature football fans. And when I say immature football fans... I have no time to discuss football with people who just look at goals and assists. Who just say, oh, a defender can't win it. Then you're not a football fan. You're a flipping moron. And you're stupid. If you can sit down, watch the game, watch what the, the keeper does, the defender does, the midfielder does, the attacker does, and know how to decipher between the contributions of a defender and the contributions of an attacker, then you're a moron. I don't care how many goals Cristiano scored. I don't care how many goals... Um, and Obama scored a hurricane. Van Dijk was far superior to any of the guys who scored 30, 40 goals the se season, based on just how much better Van Dijk did his role than they did, they did their roles. So Van Dijk was huge. It was um, amazing. Let's look at Messi. A lot of people that are angry that Messi won or that Messi didn't deserve it didn't watch the games in La Liga. You didn't watch the games in La Liga. You see, for me, the whole point, look, I know I talk about the whole Chelsea thing and Chelsea, because look, Chelsea were my team. So, you know, I would look, I would do the whole Chelsea thing. But this is a football channel. And I built this as a football channel. I've loved football ever since I can remember. And whenever I used to buy world soccer magazines and everything, I just like watching all kinds of football. You know, the more the better because I just like how different the Spanish League is, the Italian League, the German League. 
English League and everything and just how the different styles are playing together. That's why I love the World Cup and the Champions League so much because you're seeing one style against another style because different cultures interpret the games in different ways. So I try my best to watch Serie A games, La Liga games, Bundesliga games and Premier League games. That's what I try and do. So watching the La Liga games for Barcelona you can make an argument. You can make an argument that this was probably Messi's best ever season. Take stats out of it. This is now where we're not bringing the eye test. Take away over oh, the 91 goals in the calendar year. Based on what he had to do as an individual and what he was contributing, you could make an argument that this was his greatest ever season. Because those other seasons where he won the Champions League and he won the treble, he could defer to Neymar. He could defer to a Soros watch he knew how to play. He could defer to an Iniesta. He could defer to a Javi. He could defer to a David Villa. He could defer to an Eto. He could defer to a Thierry Henry. Do you know? He could defer to a, um, what, what should we call it, an Alexis Sanchez when he was there. But in this Barcelona, there's no one to, to defer to because your boy Cannibal Suarez get like one Champions League goal away from, from home, or maybe just one Champions League goal in the entirety of the season. Coutinho, who was trash. Just complete, utter trash. Who else was there? That's it. And Alba, who was obviously falling off. And a Valverde and a coach who obviously, his instructions aren't really being fully blended into the team. So when I looked at just how much Messi's doing, scoring, assisting, dribbling, facilitating, playmaking, Hold of the ball, he has the most top touches. Every single attacker goes through him. Every every single person passes the ball through him. He is he is literally carrying this team. And I'm saying that like, the degree to which this guy is carrying this team is insane. It's insane. So when we're now assessing an individual's performance, I think they're neck and neck. I think they're neck and neck. If Van Dijk takes it, it's fair. If Messi takes it, it's fair. But even if we now want to look at trophies now, I felt that Van Dijk was better in the Premier League than he was in the Champions League. And if we now want to just say that what he did in the Premier League, 97 points is great. It's amazing. But if we now want to go, to go look at trophies, did you win it? No, you did not. In the Champions League, Van Dijk was stronger in the Champions League. I watched those critical games. And I think the critical girl game was that semi-final. The, the final was basically Liverpool were like. <laughs> no, they didn't even have to play. That final was not. But that semi-final was, was key. For me, you could argue that Matic was the most critical player in those two legs. Even in that first leg. But especially in that second leg. Because I remember, because I remember I, I used the eye test. I remember the block Matic made, I believe, on Messi in the first half. In that game in the second leg. Where if Matic wasn't there and made that block... It's a goal. It's a goal. So, this isn't to take anything away from Van Dijk because I think if Van Dijk won it, see, if it's me, if let's say I, I was doing the final vote and the key vote, I'd give it to Van Dijk. And I'll give it to Van Dijk because it's so close. You can go either way. And because you can go either way, I'm like, let's give it to a defender. Let me give it, let's give it to a defender. So, not because, oh, Messi wins it all the time. I'm like, because it's so close and I feel that for the betterment of football, it would be better for the game of football if we gave it to defenders and say, here, look, football isn't just about attackers. Football isn't just about those who, goals, who score goals and assists. Because those goals and assists only come about from the people who do the, do, the defending. And the beauty of football now, again, if you're a moron and only care about attackers and goals, you're a moron who isn't a football fan. But for real football fans, I, I study what goalkeepers do and how goalkeepers play. I study what the defenders do because, again, there are times where I've tried to play as a central defender and, my God, it's bloody hard. <laughs> because central defending isn't just about tackling. It's about reading of the game. It's about anticipation. There is so much psychological work with regards to defending. Hence why most central defenders are actually some of the most intelligent players because the best defenders read the game. They don't spend their time tackling and running because they, they read the game so well. They are two steps ahead. They are, they are, the mental gymnastics are so strong that all they do is intercept and be there before you know it because they know what you're going to do before you do it. They know the run you're going to make before you run it. So there is a beauty in knowing what the defender does 
the midfielder, the DM, the winger, the striker, the support striker, the lone striker, and so forth. So that's why I just think, you know, for what Van Dijk does, what he's now bringing back an appreciation of what the defender does. But at the end of the day, <laughs> Messi is Messi. As I've said again, I will always have issues with what he's not done internationally and how I believe he has flopped for Argentina. But what this guy does club-wise, we're never going to see again in our lifetime. And we just need to take a step back. You can act, you can jump up and down and everything. But you just need to take a step back and watch the games. Watch the games and watch what this guy is doing every single week. This guy doesn't dive. This guy doesn't cheat the game. This guy is consistently beating player after player after player. Producing insane passes. Scoring insane goals. Dribbling past three, four, five grown men. And is a insane playmaker with a footballing IQ beyond anything. So just take a step back and be like, my God. Because I've been watching football for a long time. You know, and I've never seen a player in the club game be this consistent at such a high level. And it's to a point where, because you can be as angry as you want, when you just take stock and everything, I, again, my anger is, bro, if you just do it for Argentina, you've sealed the, the deal. You're, you are the GOAT. If you just do it for Argentina, you get the World Cup and Cup of America, you're the GOAT. Then I will, I will, I'll grab hold of my Ronaldo, my Maradona, but I'll be like, yeah, it is what it is. But for the club game, for the club game, what this guy is, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And we, you just have to just remove your anger and everything. I know if you're a Liverpool fan, be angry, blah, blah. If you're a Christian fan, be angry, angry. If you're a football fan, that's the key thing. If you're not a football fan, this, this ends for you. If you're a football fan, you've just got to appreciate what, how this guy has completely redefined what it means to perform at a high level for a long period of time. Because as, as I said again, there was never a rivalry. There was, there was never a Messi Cristiano, no. I just saw Cristiano lately flipping a disaster class for Juventus. But I, I watched the games. I watched the games. You could make an argument that Messi's best ever season as an individual was last season. You could make the case, which is insane because you should be declining. You should be declining. So, I just think that it is what it is. You can argue, jump up and jump and up and down. But I think as a football fan and everything, you have to be objective with these things. But at the end of the day, it's just a golden ball. That ain't, it, it ain't even flipping golden. It's not, it's not even made of gold. So there you go. Peace out. Stay true. Remember to like the vid. And remember to subscribe. I'm out. Support the Kid HH. Become a patron and gain access to extra content. Click the link in the description box below and gain access to that good stuff. Peace.